Greetings and salutations. I am Nikki. This is Midlife Adulting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you here. And let me just get this out of the way. If you are enjoying the content that you see on my channel, likes and subscribes help me out in building my community. That said, um, okay. I got the little notification on my screen. I am still going through it. I am spending, I've spent every day since last Friday and I'm recording this on a Monday. So I don't mean three days ago. I mean three plus seven days ago with, with my parents. I I can't keep up the the whole yeah my parents um my dad is in hospice my mom is his primary caretaker I am her primary caretaker because someone needs to make sure that she's getting breaks and she's getting walks and she's getting showers and she's getting naps and she's getting time to work on things at the desk, which makes her feel less anxious about those things. So, um, we're not forcing her to work by any means, but dad is just spending more and more time sleeping. And that is just part of it. <clears throat> so when he entered hospice that morning, the doctor said he just had a couple of days well, 10 days later, let me see here. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, so we're on day 11. He's kicking ass. It's, it's, um, force of will for, for him. He's just gonna do it. I have been spending, well, we had family in town. My dad's brother and my mom's sister were here for a bit. Um, everyone's finally cleared out. It's just us now, which is good because mom was looking for time just alone with him. And, uh, she's got it now. Um, and I think the evenings might be kind of rough, but we're making it. I am trying to keep up on work because they have been so amazingly kind to let me work from home as I can have time with dad. I never use vacation anyway, so this can just be my vacation for the year. I don't care. Um, but I'm trying to keep up on work. I actually brought my computer and my lap board with me because it's got enough room for me to use the mouse. So I'm going to be working on a couple work assignments today. And I'm also working on so my dad just finished his master's degree and ma he got a master's in fine arts. And I took his thesis and got it formatted for publication on Amazon. And it's pricey because he's got some full color uh, in there, full page colors, full color pages in there like out past the bleed so that it gets cut off and there's color to the edges. But, um, so I've done two proofs for him. One, and I self-publish. I, I don't know if that's ever been said, but I've self-published before. I wrote a book called Space Cats from Space. I wrote a book called Tripping into Happily Ever After. My books are linked. Go ahead. You know my name now. It's just, whatever. Um, so I have experience self-publishing with KDP, with Barnes & Noble Press, with um, Smashwords, so I can do digital publishing too. So the, the goal is eventually to get it in all of those places. But um, I feel bad somebody doesn't walk fast. Well, anyway. So the goal is to get it on all of those places and to provide it at a reasonable price because his thesis was about his cancer journey and he feels like it would be helpful to people who um, 
who are just starting that journey themselves or are in the midst of it. And so I am trying to make that happen for him. And I'm trying to make it happen so that he can see the book, at least a proof copy, before he passes. We'll see. It arrives tomorrow. One of them arrives tomorrow. The other one arrives Thursday. So at the very least, we got a good chance he'll see the Tuesday version. Uh, I think I'm going to do some reformatting on that to try to make the pages less, like make their less pages because um, that'll bring the price down and make it more accessible. And I really want it to be, I think he wants it to be accessible. I don't think he's looking to make a profit off of this. I think he wants to have it so... It's available and it, so anyway we have um i have a self publishing company except it's just a hobby at this point but i just went ahead and set up a new account for that and i'm going to talk to a bank tomorrow about um setting up a work a, you know separate second checking account just for it and finding out what the minimum balance is to avoid all the fees so that i can just have that be completely separate and not have to mix with my books at all. Not that I can't figure it out, but it's just so easy, much easier if I don't have to. And the way KDP works, Kindle Direct Publishing, they um, everything you publish under a certain account gets paid to one bank account. They don't split it up. So just having, I just created another KDP account, which created another Amazon account, which makes them mad because my cell phone number is already linked to an Amazon account and oh well tack with it I am tired I almost for a while when my mom's sister was here I was going and taking time in at the office just like four hours a day so I did that for three days and then my aunt headed home she's got family coming and so i won't be able to do that which is too bad because that was a nice break but i also have everything i need to do work here and there's being at the house is just the three of us and i'm an only child so that's just me uh there's there's nobody else to argue with or um, discuss with or share the burden with. And I think I'm okay with that. I actually totally understand why my parents stopped at one. My uncle says, uh, yeah, that was not part of the consideration. And I'm like, well, what do you know that I don't know? Because whatever. I'm tired. I've been going home every night about six o'clock and getting over here every morning about seven. So it's, it is like a full-time, or seven or nine. It is like a full-time job, but I think it's helpful for mom. So, and I like to be able to see dad and interact with the hospice nurses. I'm also acting as my mom's brain. Um, conversations and directions and decisions and stuff. I'm just acting like her brain so that she can concentrate on all of the things that she's going through that she needs um I guess that's about it I just wanted to put up another update and kind of record this for me I'm because I am in care mode for mom I'm not super emotional um I hope she doesn't see that and think that I don't care. When she's in care mode for dad, she doesn't show much in emotion e either. Like it just kind of kicks in. Is this like a universal thing or just a me thing that when someone else needs care or when someone else is losing it, you can be the strong one. Like I would totally die to zombies unless I was also working like experiencing it with someone who was more freaked out who was super super freaked out oh here's the other thing one of my best friends is also in the hospital for a stroke
I just finished The Alchemist by Paul Coelho. I think it's how you pronounce his name. And in that, there is a character who says something along the lines of, I am a superstitious old Arabic, Arab. Things that happen once can never happen again. Things that happen twice will absolute, will are guaranteed to happen a third time. That's why things come in threes, or they don't. It's either going to happen once and never happen again, or it's going to happen three times. Twice and then guaranteed a third. Okay, my car's getting cold. Thank you so much for listening and being a part of my morning. And I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And if you're not having a fantastic day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow's better. That's all I got. Bye, love you, bye.